Hello, this is Adam with Semantic Mastery. Uh, today I wanted to talk real quick about IFTTT and how you can use it in your business. Uh, so if you haven't heard of it before, uh, it's ifttt.com. Uh, just go there, you can sign up, it's free. Uh, give them an email address, username, password, and you're good to go. Uh, once you log in, you can basically click around and check this out, but I'll give you just a quick overview. Um, you have a bunch of channels, and what these are are things you can connect together uh, and use in different ways. So I'll get into that in a minute, but these are all of the channels. So you can just go through here, and there's a ton, you know, Gmail, uh, RSS feeds, Google Drive, Calendar, um, just a ton. So for a business, you might be thinking, okay, what can I do with this? What's the, what's the point? Um, well, this is just one quick example. Let's say that you have a website, and for this case, I'm going to assume uh, WordPress or anything else that has the ability to output multiple RSS feeds. So if you weren't aware of this, um, there's many plugins or other ways you can do this, but you can output to many different RSS feeds, and it's done natively as well in some cases. Um, anyways, so let's say you have one RSS feed and you want that to be more of your social, right? You could do this with your posts, maybe with a tag, things like that, where you want to automatically push out this content to your media platforms, but you don't want it going to other places. So you could say, okay, well, when I tag it in a certain way, I'm going to create a recipe, which is what it's called in the IFTTT when you connect these together, and I want it to push to our Facebook account and our Twitter account. Then you could say, okay, well, there's other things I want that are going to Evernote and Google Drive. These may be internal documents or storage, things like um, a knowledge base article or something like that or a draft of a post maybe you want those going you don't want that type of information pushed out across your media platforms but you maybe do want a copy of this backed up so super simple to do so if we go back in here into IFTTT for those types of situations you could activate the feed channel which is an auto activation because all it does is take as an input an RSS feed which is something you copy and paste and then you connect it to one of your accounts. So if you went in here and you said, okay, I want to create a recipe, you can create one. You would say, if this, you would click, okay, well, I want to feed. And you would say, new feed item. And you pop in the feed URL. So I'm not going to do that here, but all you do is copy and paste an RSS feed. And it will self validate, uh, won't let you continue if it's not a valid RSS feed leave this page and then you can connect it to any of the channels you have activated if you haven't activated it yet it will ask you to you just go through the steps it's usually username and password or email and password and so in our case we were talking about Facebook and Twitter so um, you go down and the next step you would have seen after that would be we did the if this which was RSS feed then that which would be okay I want Twitter and you could say, you know, update uh, your uh, with a status update, which is what you would want to do. And then you could repeat that and do that for Facebook. And then if you wanted to do something different, like we were talking about over here, whereas you maybe have some other things you want to put into Evernote or Google Drive, you can go through the steps again, but you would use a different RSS feed or a different trigger is what they're called. Of course, there's many, many more options to this. This is just a quick overview. Um, this is a good way to syndicate information and to automate some of the more tedious tasks. But obviously, there's a lot of things you can do with Google Calendar integrations, um, a lot of uh, gathering content, even for reading or for pushing out through Instapaper, um, LinkedIn integrations. There's a lot here. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about how we do this, uh, you can go to ifttseo.com slash pdf, uh, just sign up, get some free information. Uh, if you're interested in how we do even more of this with syndicating across networks and uh, some other good uh, SEO information, visit semanticmastery.com. Happy to answer any questions you have. If you want, just contact us or leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Uh, any of the links that we've mentioned will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.